Okay, it's been a been a little while since I've done an update and I've worked on this thing. I had to put it aside um, because the fuel pump that I had decided to say I quit. So, fun, fun, fun. And then I saw a friend of mine, Sears, and he had a funny little thing sitting on the side. It was on this side. It would have been right here where the generator is, except his was a, a SS16, so it's a little bit different um, section. But he had a um, an external fuel holder that come up to right about here, and the fuel tank sat right about here. And I said, you know what? I got to think. I said, you know what? That looks freaking like a good idea. And I wanted it, but he wouldn't fork it over. So, eh. So I made my own, right? And I shaved this by hand to this tank. At least I'll be able to see how much gas I got. And it's a gallon and something tank. It's not quite as big as the big one that I have, but it'll still last a long time. This thing doesn't burn much fuel, especially when you run it at a certain RPM. And I made this. And yes, it doesn't look like much, and I still got to beat some of the welds off, make sure the welds are good. But it's I shaped it all by hand. I'm gonna take the uh, claw off of it here. But yeah. It doesn't look like much, but it is pretty sturdy. It is sturdy metal. It takes a lot to bend this with by hand, but uh, once I get once this cools down enough, um, the tank it sits. It'll. I'm debating, but so far my best option of placing it is 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 right about is right here on the side of the front of the. So it's curved so that the hood doesn't hit it, and I can bolt. I got two bolts. I can put bolts on it. And it'll sit way up here, so it should be out of the way of everything. And um, top of that, the last time I ran this, I had steering issues because it's just a, it just I overweight, I overdid the balance of weight on the back end. But I've sol solved that. My buddy, I'm also going to take some of the hitch I got on the back end, cut it shorter. And I'm going to put some put a hitch on the front, but a buddy of mine gave me a hundred pound weight that is like so compact and dead weight that I can fit it between the bumper and the front cowling. So let's see here. I'll call it out to the truck. I had to park over here because we had rain for the last week. So I'm not tearing up my yard again. A buddy of mine gave me a bunch of stuff, including a spare motor and a couple of transmissions. Ah. Fuck this lady heavy. Mm. Okay. But there it is. That little thing right there, that little brick, weighs 100 pounds. Little fucker's heavy. And he gave me this motor. It needs to be cleaned and I need a head for it. I'll see if he can't find his head. He gave me a spare case and transmission and a couple of transmissions. Now this transmission's weird. And if I didn't know any better, that has a shaft bigger than this side. So it may only drive one wheel. Weird. But it's okay. I might I might just throw that in the pulling tractor and see how it does. If I don't like it, I don't like it. I'll pull it back out. But, um... Yeah, got a couple of transmissions. That's a wide-body transmission, so I'm going to have to take the case and switch the case. Not a big thing. Um, I got this pole here for my wood stove that I made, and I'll show you that here in a second. <sighs> my toolbox. I'm going to thought about this. He gave me this. This is for a boat. But I'm going to use it as a snorkel. <laughs> yes, the utility mower is getting a snorkel, and that is going to be the top of it. That is neat. I'll take we call it polish all the crap off of it. And I'll just show you here. Go over here to the wood stove. So I got to make him my wood stove. But for those of you who want to make a, or looking to make a wood stove for, you know, in your shop, 
right since a wood stove is the easiest thing to heat a shop and it's and you can't seem to find a good wood stove right your best option is, is to get a hold of a couple of semi drums um, reason being is because they're they're drop forged steel so they're good quality steel not to mention they're thick and heat won't bother them one bit and I made so I took two of them that a buddy gave me and I made a wood stove it's not done yet and I've been using this out of parts you can find on an automobile <laughs> why because I can I have in the one end in the opposite end of it sorry for my poor camera ship camera yeah I haven't been using the camera in a while so I'm a little rusty but I took uh, one of these which is a rotor off a car and I crammed it in the other end inverted so it sticks inward just like that and that's where my stacks gonna be mounted uh, oh I know that some people who watch my channel and I've gotten and I thank all of you for who have seen it and who have commented on it I always want to hear you know and chat with people um, I found the cars and cameras guys are actually in Greenville North Carolina however I have not been able to get up with them and with times as tough as they've been I'm it, I would normally you know go out there and try and find them but you know because I, I, I want to meet them and they've got some pretty cool projects going to that dragster I'd want to drive um, but me and my buddy Chris uh, well as you know the mower has had green lights you know in the nose and all that but now it glows green everywhere why because we made a completely custom uh, underglow kit for it and yeah and I set the distance record with those tires and I broke the transmission in the very next round but the track was biting that day and I think I may have I should have gone with a lower gear when I noticed that the track was biting so hard but I didn't and I went for broke I won but I paid the price and you know what I don't care I am happy that I broke 300 feet I am bone stock I have people that will verify that that my tractor is bone stock and I lost my lucky tack and my flat my tires flat so I'm gonna get a tube and put in that and well as you can see the shop is a bleeping mess you can thank my buddy I had to clean all that all this out of his truck and it was in the cab of his truck of all places oh and I got his mower his pulling tractor is up and going as you can see the O&M is not over on the table anymore it's in the mo it's in here and I made a custom stack out of it and the funny thing is I took this part here and I cut it out of a header for a four cylinder the other half of that header is right here this thing so I cut the center out of it and I used it for his mower and it sounds awesome and I gotta get his um, don't his all he really needs is fuel pump and fuel line and a battery and I wired it all up and I even got him a new battery red line which is right here made him one um, you know uh, I'm hoping that I will hear good news or a facsimile of good news tomorrow but one only time will tell but as you see um, going to get this done and I'm gonna be able to use that again I've also got the front two tabs done for the new mounts for the bucket the old mouse just didn't work I did it wrong and when you do something wrong you learn from it well I decided to go a little bit different when the way it's held in there so it's got two tabs that will bolt to at the top and then I'm gonna take that pull I'm gonna cut two 20 inch sections and I'm gonna make them so I can use the bolt holes on there and I'll put pins in them 
uh, and they're going to go to the bottom of the tractor where the old uh, mower mounts were. So I'm going to get to work and hopefully I'll have an update for you in the coming future uh, with me using this thing in the yard or uh, me going through some mud with it. But I'm going to add that 100 pounds of weight to the nose and see how it does. Alrighty y'all, that's it for this update. Like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that jazz. And if you're in North Carolina and you're not far from me, I live in Columbia, I wouldn't mind getting up with you. I don't have very many places I can ride anymore because a friend of mine moved. And we used to go back in the woods behind his house and I can't do that no more, so let me know. Alrighty, have a good one people.